Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. If you're new, my name is Becky. We are gonna be doing an Azure haul, a Dollar Tree haul, and a Walmart haul. You may be wondering, why are we doing hauls? We're in the middle of a pantry challenge. The number one reason is because I had to order chicken feed, and we're gonna get into that in just a minute, and I had to order a couple household items through Azure. And when I was on the live, I had talked to you about that there were a couple things that were on sale that I wasn't sure if I was gonna include in the pantry challenge if I was gonna make an exception to buy things that were on sale because one of my biggest money saving tips is shop sales and when something's on sale, stock up on it so you can save that money. And that is exactly what I did. So there were, I think like six or seven grocery items that I did buy. Every single one of those things were on sale. I'm gonna tell you how much they were on sale so that you can understand why even though we're in a pantry challenge, I still bought groceries, but not one of these groceries is gonna to be touched during January or February because we're still in the challenge trying to use up what we stored up last year. Last but not least, we are gonna do a butcher box haul. This is meat that I'm not gonna be eating for the month of January or February. It's on a subscription, so it came during this pantry challenge. So because I documented every grocery haul in 2021, I wanna document every grocery haul, all the groceries that come into my house in 2022 as well. You guys know I buy a lot of my meat from local ranchers, but I can't get everything from local pasture raised ranchers. And I think Butcher Box is filling in that gap, the things that I can't buy from a local rancher. They do 100% grass fed, grass finished beef, which I am super passionate about. That's, that is why I buy half a cow every two years or so. And they do organic chicken and crepe free pork. I just bought a whole hog, so I don't need any pork right now, but I bought my whole beef a while ago, so I'm running low on some beef items. In my freezer, I don't have very much ground beef. I have a lot of steaks and roasts from the half a cow I bought. So I picked up ground beef in my butcher box order and three of these packages of beef patties. I am excited to have these because I don't enjoy taking my ground beef and turning them into patties. So I got patties here. Now I did get a large box and I was supposed to have two more of these and they did come, but in the confusion of putting everything in the freezer and trying to organize it and make sure my freezer stay organized, two of them got left on the garage floor and I didn't realize it till the next day and they were completely thawed. So my chickens had a fantastic dinner that day. Chickens are not vegetarians and so they gratefully ate up those two packages of hamburger meat. I was disappointed because I don't you know, tend to feed my chickens that high quality of food, but they surely enjoyed it. So Josh and I's, one of our favorite dinners is hamburgers, and I can't wait to use those because I've been looking for a really good grass-fed, grass-finished hamburger patty, and I haven't been able to find one. I also got two packages of chicken breast and two packages of chicken thighs, and I wanna start eating some more fish. Josh and I don't eat very much fish at all, so I wanna try making, at some point, fish tacos. So that is why I got some cod. And then I got two things of Alaska sockeye salmon. It's wild caught. That could have been a very, very bad mistake because we don't eat very much fish. It's not our favorite. But for some reason, salmon has been sounding really good to me lately. So I got it. I don't know why I ordered two packages. I probably should have just ordered one because if we don't like it, that is gonna be hard for us to get through. But I, I ordered it. My mother-in-law, she got her box and she said the salmon was fantastic quality. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know but I'm excited to have that and I am for some reason bummed that I have to wait until the end of February before I can dive into that, which is weird because I normally see food is not normally my thing. But now I wanna to move to the Azure meat that I bought. This is the first time I've ever bought meat through Azure, but this was on sale. This was 40% off. I saved almost $70 on this box and I bought two boxes and I am so excited to find this. And this here is the number one reason why I decided to still purchase some groceries that were on sale through Azure, even though we're in this grocery challenge, because these are pasture raised chickens. They're whole chickens. There's five chickens in each one of these packages. And this price I could not beat. I cannot buy pasture raised whole chickens in my area for what I paid through Azure for this. So I bought two boxes. So I have 10 whole chickens completely out of chicken broth. So I'm excited to have these chickens so when I cook the chickens I can take the bones and turn them into bone broth and can that and that is why I wanted to get some whole chickens not just to have pasture raised chicken meat but also so I can make some pasture raised bone broth and get that canned and put into my pantry in my area to buy pasture raised chickens it's about six dollars or seven dollars a pound and I paid just over five dollars a pound for these chickens and to buy pasture raised from a farm just chicken breasts 
it's almost $12 a pound. I cannot afford to pay $12 a pound for chicken breast. So my compromise is to buy organic chicken breast, organic thighs, and then when I can afford whole pastured chickens, I order whole pastured chickens. Some homesteads grow their own meat and they do all that. I don't really see that happening for me anytime soon. It's not even, it's not really an option where I live right now. So if I can partner with local farmers, great companies to get that really good quality meat, that's my goal. So I need to stop. I need to put all this away because it needs to get back in the freezer. I double checked. I did not leave any meat on the floor. I almost left a half gallon of milk, which I pulled out so that that can thaw because we have no milk in the house anymore. Let's get back into the rest of the Azure haul and you can see the amazing savings I got. Okay, one of the things I'm the most excited about is this Portland ketchup. This is the absolute best ketchup in the whole entire world. If you've never eaten it, I really want to encourage you to try it. This ketchup at my local Kroger is $5.55 for one bottle. Because it was 9% off, I paid just over $3 a bottle. This stuff is out of my price range normally, but if I can find it on sale, sometimes they have it at Costco, I will buy it. And I went ahead and bought 12. That means I can use one a month and that is awesome. I made my own ketchup two years ago, the first year we lived here, and it was okay. I did not peel the tomatoes or see the tomatoes. And so I don't do that for my spaghetti sauce, but when you make ketchup, you need to do that. So I didn't make any ketchup this year because I had enough to get us through. But when I saw this on sale, I went ahead and bought it. So I'm probably gonna attempt to try to make ketchup this year, but I'm going to peel and de-seed my tomatoes. Now, I wanna be honest with you. I bought the Portland brand Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire sauce, I don't know, a couple Azure hauls ago and I was gonna let you know how I liked it. I did not like it. It was too sour and I just prefer the original one with, that comes in the paper bag. So I probably won't ever buy the Portland Worcestershire again, but this ketchup is a game changer. Be careful if you start buying it because your family will only want this ketchup. I bought 25 pounds of semi-sweet organic chocolate chips. These are fair trade, I believe, 11% off. So I saved a ton of money on buying this 25 pound bag. The next three items were 10% off. This is white wine vinegar. I don't have any white wine vinegar in the house, so because it was on sale, I went ahead and bought it, and it is organic. Grapes are one of those things that, you know, if you can buy organic, you want to. And then I got a case of tomato paste. I like this tomato paste because it's in a jar. I've never used it before, but I don't like to have tomato products in tin cans because tomatoes are very acidic. And even if they're lined tin cans, they say that that can leach into your tomato product. That is the number one reason why I started canning when I first started canning was I was reading about the health concerns around cans and tomato products and I wanted to can my own tomato products. You can easily, probably wherever you are, you can find a local farmer in your area if you don't have a garden, buy a bulk amount of tomatoes and learn to can them. That was the first thing I canned. It was, I think my 24th birthday, I asked my mom for a canner and I got my ball canning book. That is what got me into the world of canning and it is a really fun world to be in. So I'm excited to have these. I bought a 25 pound bag of organic basmati rice. We don't have any basmati rice in the house and I'm excited to get organic rice and that is why I bought 25 pounds of that. So the household goods that I had to get through Azure were some laundry detergent. I am almost out of laundry detergent and I thought I would try something new. I have seen people use this online, but I have personally never used it. You can buy it in a 60 pound bag, but I figured since I'm new to it, I'm gonna buy a smaller bag. It's HE efficient and it's okay for septic. So it's a powder, it's not scented. It's supposed to be a you know more like healthy, natural type of detergent. So we're gonna give that a try. I haven't used a powder detergent in a very long time. So yeah, I'll let you know how that goes. I bought eight bags of chicken feed. These are 40 pounds each. I bought these for the first time, I, I wanna say probably four, five months ago. They go through about three fourths of a bag a month. And I can tell that they prefer this organic chicken feed as opposed to what I was buying at my local feed store. The stuff I was buying at my local feed store, it, it wasn't organic and it was in a plastic bag. So this is something, the reason we were buying that is because we were saving to put a new roof on our house and we finally had the money to do that. So because I have a little bit more room in my budget, I decided to go ahead and go with 
this organic chicken feed. It's soy and corn free and it's in a paper bag. So it's definitely a little bit more of a greener option because I can you know, recycle these bags or they'll compost, no problem. And I really don't enjoy buying chicken feed. It's one of those chores that are just not my favorite thing to do. So I figured I'm gonna buy eight bags. I'm gonna go big. I'm going to haul these into the chicken shed and then I don't have to worry about it for a while. So that is why I ordered, I think this was about $250, maybe a little bit more in chicken feed. I also like to look at this as food insurance, just like I like to have a stock pantry for my shelf, for myself. I've said that probably 10 times. <laughs> Josh was poking his head around the corner. Um, I want to have a well-stocked pantry for my chickens, so now I don't have to think about chicken food for quite some time. And then we have a Dollar Tree haul here. It is February, just around the corner. Valentine's Day is coming up. We are gonna do a huge cooking Valentine's Day candy making day, just like we did for Christmas. So I needed some good goodies to package up those goodies that we're gonna be creating together. Let's do the Walmart haul because it's pretty small. Because this is for a gift, it's not included in the pantry challenge because I'm gonna be packaging up the cookies and candies and giving them to friends and family. I needed M&Ms for one of the recipes we are gonna be making, also coconut. I needed this amount of coconut plus the coconut I already have in my house to make some recipes. At the end, we'll go over what those recipes are because right now I can't remember off the top of my head. White chocolate chips, some marshmallow fluff. This is the first time I've ever bought it, but we are gonna be making a recipe that needed it. And now this is not enough peanut butter. We're gonna try to make homemade Reese's, or it's kind of like a peanut butter cup, and I'm gonna need more peanut butter than that some of the turbinado sugar, and I bought this. This is, um, I, this is a Pro Glow. I don't know if this is my right color or not. This right here is why I think it's funny that you wanna see a hair tutorial, because I literally also bought a thing of foundation or cover up, I don't even know what it's called, at the Dollar Tree, because I'm not into like the beauty world at all. This is probably terrible for me. It's probably got all sorts of chemicals in it, but I don't know anything about makeup. It's not my wheelhouse. I'm not passionate about beauty and makeup, and I'm sure there's a whole world, you know, with the whole, I'm passionate about food and where my food comes from, but I'm sure that I should probably get more passionate about the beauty industry and where that comes from. And so if you guys have any good makeup recommendations for me, please, if good companies that you know, let me know what they are so we can learn together. But for now, I bought some foundation at Dollar Tree today and some foundation at Walmart. <laughs> I also can't go into Dollar Tree without looking at the clip department. Gold and pearls are my kryptonite and this was really dainty and feminine and cute so I got it and I thought this was really pretty. Oh I got these at Walmart too because I'm working on trying to streamline my cleaning of my bathrooms and so I wanted to get just some cheap, I think this whole package was like four dollars, towels that these are just going to be for cleaning the bathroom and I know these are for cleaning the bathroom so that is what that is for. I picked up 10 birthday cards. I think the perfect place to buy cards is Dollar Tree. You get two for the price of one, or two for one dollar. I also bought this hair clip. This is one that's kind of that like soft feeling to it. I was at a boutique with a friend the other day and they were selling these for $12 for this texture clip. So I got that for one dollar and we'll try it out. I got myself some seeds because you know, 25 cents a seed pack, it's hard not to walk by and not buy them. I bought a whole stack of cilantro, some basil. I got a couple different flowers that I didn't order in my seed orders that are coming here pretty soon. And I'll share with you all the seeds I bought. And I bought a cantaloupe. I don't know if I'm actually even gonna plant this because I don't know if I could get cantaloupe to grow in my area, but for 25 cents, I thought I would just buy the seed packet and then if I decide to plant it, I do. But I'm gonna only be out 25 cents instead of like $3 for a seed packet. So if you want to know where I buy my seeds, I can link them down below. This is just kind of a little extra that I thought I would just buy while I was at Dollar Tree. I bought two of these fun tassel garlands because a lot of the cookies and candies we're going to be making are going to be going to my husband's work and I wanted to decorate the table. That is also why I bought balloons. I wanted to blow one up so I could see what they look like, but I thought they were super cute. They come in a pack of 12 for a dollar. I got a few boxes because for the friends and family that I'm gonna be dropping the cookies and candies off to, I thought for a dollar, this is a perfect little gift box. They came in this like pretty rose gold pink color, red, silver. And when you go to Dollar Tree, these come in a bunch of different sizes. They're all the same price. And I always go with the biggest ones. I bought these when we did our Christmas cookie 
decorating day and they were perfect. I wish I had bought more then, so that's why I went ahead and stocked up. I got two different muffin tin liners. We got gold. We might be using these for my sister-in-law's baby shower. I am responsible for making the cupcakes. So I might, if I don't use these for Valentine's Day, I'm going to use them for that. And then some red ones. And then whatever I don't use if we don't make cupcakes, because that wasn't really on the list, I'll just make muffins with those. I love buying tissue paper at Dollar Tree. So I got two packages of just the white 35 pack. And then I bought these because they had gold hearts on it. They were super cute. And we we're going to use these along with this tissue to fill our boxes. So this was probably not as good of a buy because we've only got six sheets for a dollar as opposed to this one we got 10 and these ones we got 35. But I figured if I don't use these for Valentine's Day because they are just plain gold hearts, I could use those for a different, you know, like birthday party or birthday gift or something. And then I skipped over these going back to trying to make my cleaning products work better for me in the bathrooms. If you watched my last grocery haul, I bought a bunch of cleaning products so that I could have the exact same cleaning products in every single bathroom and in the kitchen. Instead of them just being in the cabinet, loosey goosey, it's not working for me because I keep my towels down there too. And it's just not working for me. So I thought, and I wasn't sure which size I wanted, I would get these containers so I can put the cleaning products in these containers underneath the sink and I can pull the whole container out at one time, clean the bathroom or touch up the bathroom and see how it goes. So I wasn't sure what size I wanted, so I bought two different sizes and we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. Friends, I wanna go over what we are gonna be making for the Valentine's Day cookies and candies day, but I have to pull it up. I found all of these recipes on Pinterest. So these are not my recipes. Let's see, okay. The first one we're gonna make are these sugar cookies and they are just absolutely stunning and beautiful. I already bought the cookie cutters for them. It's basically a shortbread cookie with jam on the inside and we have plenty of jam around here. We are gonna do a peanut butter Valentine's heart. So this is kind of like a copycat Reese's peanut butter cup. I think that's why I'm gonna to have to order more peanut butter. We're gonna do German hazelnut macaroons. These do not have a frosting, but I might try to make a chocolate ganache frosting. I've never made macaroons before, but I think that the hazelnut with the chocolate just sounds really good. I mean, that's basically Nutella flavors, right? We're gonna make mocha truffles, and that is why one of the reasons I wanted to freeze dry that coffee so we can make it with homemade freeze dried coffee. We are gonna make homemade marshmallows. This used to be a staple. I used to make marshmallows every single Valentine's Day and I haven't made them in forever. So I'm excited to do that with you together. Marshmallows are surprisingly very easy and it's one of those things that you think, how in the world are marshmallows made? And when you make them for the first time, you feel super empowered, super empowering to make your own marshmallows. And then I also thought this chocolate marshmallow cookie would be really good as well. This is why I had to buy that marshmallow fluff. I probably could have looked up a recipe to make my own homemade marshmallow fluff, but it's already gonna be a very busy day, so I thought if I'm gonna make homemade marshmallows, I'm going to not make homemade marshmallow fluff. But I'm sure homemade marshmallow fluff is probably easier than marshmallows, but that is that. And then I've been browsing around looking at some other recipes that we might play around with. I'm not exactly sure, and I'm not sure if we're gonna do separate cookies and candy day. Let me know if you want to see the cookies and the candies in separate videos. That worked really well with the Christmas cookies and candies. If you're interested, don't forget I will link ButcherBox and Azure down below. They're companies I strongly stand behind. I hope you found value in this video and that you were encouraged or inspired to maybe try to cook something from scratch or do a pantry challenge, even though we're doing a pantry challenge and I just show you my groceries. But this is how I save money. I save money by buying things when they're on sale. Like I said, we're not gonna be eating or diving into any of this stuff except for the Valentine's Day cookies and candies. If you guys have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them down in the comment section. I learn so much from you guys reading those comments. I can't even tell you how grateful I am for them. I, I just, I love them. I love sitting down and reading them. If you're wondering how I cook with all these bulk items, I will leave what we eat in a week pantry challenge week one up here and week two down here. You can go check those videos out. If you guys are new around here, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you next time. I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye guys.